uh, replicating the 2.5 mile journey <laughs> that uh, many Ethiopia girls and women alike make to uh, local water holes uh, to get water that's oftentimes even dirty. About uh, 40 pounds, which is about the weight of the jug. Uh, most of these women have to carry, or little girls. I'm a big, robust, burly guy. I mean, I don't know how a little, how a smaller Ethiopian girl, probably sick, has to can do this. I really do not. I'm already wearing down. It's only about a half mile in. Girls often go to uh, local uh, ponds, but a lot of times there's droughts, so even a puddle has to suffice, oftentimes. And these can be contaminated with thousands and thousands of bacteria, deadly diseases, just, just completely unsanitary and not safe to drink. But when it's all you have, it's all you have. Now, only about 42% Ethiopia has uh, improved water supplies and those numbers just drop as you get to the rural areas. Uh, one of the le leading causes of death for children is diarrhea which they oftentimes get. These girls have to do these journeys uh, multiple times a day and it creates uh well they can't go to school first of all and it creates a gap in the education between genders a lot of these girls don't have the opportunity these guys have and it just adds to the whole social imbalance of it Wells are a big thing. Put in a clean water well, there's so much clean water underground in Ethiopia. It's incredible. It costs about 10,000 to supply a whole village with water. But only 26% of rural Ethiopia has improved water sources compared to percentages in the 30s in uh, cities. And I mean, it's just, this is just really hard. This is getting to be really hard. I don't know how. I don't even have the will to do this. Especially in the hot Ethiopian sun.